Last one in is at King Max. The six of them are set. And they're off over a mile and a quarter in the Hampton Court Stakes. Claymore got away well, so too did Reach for the Moon on the outside under Frankie Dottori. These are the first two. The dark blue Half is in third early on. The violet jacket King Max and Ross Ryan on the outside of Ryan Moore and Half. And then Maxud, the green and yellow, and Cresta under Jamie Spencer dropped out at the back of the field as they run through this first two furlongs and get to Swinley Bottom, and it's Adam Kirby and Claymore leading the way by just over a length to Reach for the Moon in second position. Reach for the Moon bidding to give Her Majesty the Queen a 25th Royal Ascot winner in her Platinum Jubilee year, and is poised in second spot, Reach for the Moon. In third position is Half on the inside of King Max, and then Tom Marquand and Maxud with just Cresta, behind as the field now run past the six furlong marker half a mile behind them and claymore leads the way to the favorite reach for the moon in second position half is in third place the outside then is at king max the white face followed by maxud and cresta will need to pass the other five to win as they're about to run inside their final four furlongs here and on the run back towards home and it is still claymore that has the initiative but reach for the moon is close up on the outside, followed by King Max, tracking Frankie's every move, Half on the inner, and then Maxer just getting a squeeze in fifth position. Cresta is at the back, Dottori just starts to nudge on Reach for the Moon. It's Claymore that has the initiative as they turn into the home straight. Two and a half furlongs to go in the Hampton Court. The moment of truth here. Reach for the Moon is attacking Claymore. Kirby asking for a little bit more. Reach for the Moon trying hard. The near side, Dottori goes for his stick. This would bring the house down if he can get past. Reach for the Moon, the near side. Claymore still fighting on the far side. They run inside the final furlong. King Max is back in third, and Claymore is at the moment holding reach for the moon, who can't get past Claymore, who's finding extra in front. And Claymore will make it another memorable moment for Jane Chapelheim and win the Hampton Court Stakes under Adam Kirby. Reach for the moon second, ahead of King Max and Cresta, Maxard and Half.